We need to talk about Storygraph. The Storygraph is an app which allows you to track your reading. Very similar to the app Goodreads, if any of you have tried that. But what's different about this app and what actually makes it worth downloading? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. So Storygraph is completely free to use. They do not try and sell you any kind of premium subscription so far that I have noticed. They are not trying to get you to buy anything. It is completely free to you. Okay, I'll have to excuse my face and everything right now, but I'm editing this video and I've just realized that there is a plus version of Storygraph and I just was editing the graph section and I just saw the little plus that comes up after it. So there is a plus service. It gets you a few different features. In my opinion, you don't need it. You get everything you need with the free version, but if you want these features, which I'll put on screen here, for a little bit more advanced stuff, then you might want to consider the plus version. It's four ninety nine a month. But I wanted to add this in because I did not realize how when I was filming this video. And similar to an app such as Goodreads, it's got three main kind of categories that you put your books into. First one being want to read. So you can add books that you have seen that you want to read at some point in the future and keep track of those currently reading and also your read books. They also provide you with recommendations of books similar to the ones you've already read that you might like. Now, one of the key selling points, if not the key selling point of this app is that it gives you loads of analytics about your reading so that you can see in a little bit more detail what you've been reading and kind of just see all the data behind it. So let's dive into that now and to do this I'm going to show you my stats for 2022. So you can filter by year, you can also filter by a specific month in 2022 but just for now I'm going to look at the whole of 2022. So the first graph is kind of showing you the different moods of the books that I have read and as you can see my kind of top ones here are mysterious and tense because I love a lot of like crime novels, mystery novels and then also also reflective and informative because I love my non-fiction books too. Now what's really really cool about this is that it is actually an interactive dashboard. So I can click on let's say the mysterious section of this and it will show me the books that are influencing that stat if that makes sense. So it's showing me the mysterious books that I've read and giving me a bit more information about them. Next we have pace so as you can see here it's sort of 50-50 for me fast and medium. In terms of page numbers you can see the kind of books you're reading whereabouts they sit. Fiction, non-fiction again it's kind a split for me. I can see the genres of books I've been reading. Again, you can click on any of these and you can see the books that sit behind them. There's other charts such as the format of the book you're reading, like audio or actual physical book, the most read authors, and one of my absolute favourites, which shows you a graph of how much you read across the year in specific months. So as you can see from mine, I started off strong in January, um, went back to being strong in kind of March, April, May, and then down again with a little peak towards the end of the year. And then the end of the year, I was shocking with my reading. So it's just really cool to kind of see where you sat last year and then you can kind of improve upon it this year if your goal is that you want to read more. And lastly there's a star rating so I give pretty much every book I read four or five stars. If I don't then it's because I haven't finished the book and if I haven't finished the book I don't usually rate it because I feel like that's not fair. So basically always four or five stars from me. That's the analytics and the graphs. If you're someone that loves data analytics and loves to see all this stuff like I am then you will definitely like this. Storygraph has some other really cool features such as the community tab similar to what Goodreads has where you can follow your friends see their updates you can also connect with people on this who you don't know who just have similar book interests to you which is really really cool and you can get some really good recommendations from it which is probably my favorite part of it you can also set reading goals and join reading challenges so again if your goal is to read more in 2023 this is a great option to kind of help you do that and something I'm literally only just realizing because I'm scrolling through it right now is that they do these books book giveaways which is really really cool it's still in beta version so I'm assuming this is literally just a new thing that they've brought in based on the books that you've read they give you like these giveaways competitions you can enter where you can actually like win these books so that's really cool. One of the key questions you might have, because it was a question I had whenever I moved from Goodreads to this app, is can you bring the data from Goodreads into Storygraph? And the answer is yes, because that's what I did. All of that 2022 data you just saw, that actually came from Goodreads. I just imported it into Storygraph. So the way that you do this is that you need to export a CSV file of all of your Goodreads data from the Goodreads app and upload it to Storygraph. I will put a link down below that will help you do this because I 
struggled to find like the right link to show me how to do it but I will put it down below for you guys hopefully to make it a little bit easier but all in all the process is quite easy it just takes a little bit of time it took I think about three or four days after I uploaded my data to Storygraph before it all got like properly imported so I could see the data but it's still fine you can still do it and I got to see all of my data come through which is really really cool and that's Storygraph I really hope you guys have found this helpful let me know down below if you have any more questions or any video suggestions for future videos you want to see me too thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one